The outlook for the recovery is darkening. A new AP economy survey projects weaker growth in the coming months as key components of the economy, employment and consumer spending, continue to struggle. It's on a decelerating track, uh, and I think that's probably going to be the, the case for at least the second and I think the third quarters. The downbeat outlook comes in the wake of the European debt crisis. The uncertainty and unrest there helped to royal financial markets here. And that was a wake-up call for consumers. You hold off purchases, you hold off on vacation, so everybody's sort of, you know, in a wait-and-see mode. Despite continuing headwinds, a majority of economists do believe the recovery will continue, although their outlooks have been scaled back from a few months ago. The job market is on the mend, and with that comes rising dis disposable income. And we've also seen uh, an improvement in household net worth, not back yet to peak levels, but certainly uh, having posted some significant gains over the course of the past year. The AP survey's consensus forecast for second quarter gross domestic product calls for a gain of 2.8 percent. That's down slightly from the survey conducted in April. Unemployment is expected to remain high with a 9.5 percent forecast for the end of the year. It's not expected to get much better anytime soon. It's going to start to moderate, but I think the, the moderation is going to be somewhat gradual. And you know, going from 10 down to 5 uh, is going to take a number of years. Uh, right now, I, I think it's going to take place after 2014, but probably 20, 2016 or something like that. The Federal Reserve doesn't see the economy moving backwards into a so-called double-dip recession. But Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke recently the said the recovery is, in his words, pace. unusually it's uncertain. To fend off that threat, policy. the Fed is exploring new steps to invigorate the economy if it flashes signs of backsliding. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.